I apologize for the darkness in here in my storeroom. I don't normally like to start videos off in here, but that mess you see on the floor is me reorganizing that bug out bag. And when I come back, I'm going to show you what I changed and what I improved. Alright, thanks for coming back. Um, so yesterday I decided let's tear this bag apart. This is one of my bug out bags. And I say one, meaning I have multiples. You do not need multiples. Um, the reason I have multiples is because this is what I do. I do gear reviews. I do stuff like that. Gear piles up. Sometimes I'll make a second bag. This is more of a short-term bag. Um, and it's, again, to give you guys ideas. You know, I have my other bug out bag that I would take in a I'm never coming home scenario. I'd probably toss this in the car too if I was leaving by vehicle. If I was leaving by foot, I have a different bag. So... With that said, that's why I have multiples. You do not need multiples. Also, a bug out bag is very personal. It's what you need and what you may want in an emergency. What I may have in here, you may think is crazy. You may not like it. You may want to stock different stuff. It's a personal thing, you know. You wouldn't let somebody else use your socks or your pants. You're not gonna let somebody else use your bug out bag. So with that said, we're gonna tear into it and I'll show you what I replaced. And I'll show you what I'm upgrading and we'll go from there. So let's start on the side. All right, on the side here in this pocket, I have a bunch of things in here. Right here, I have some cash. I always tell people to keep some cash. Uh, I have some cash, and believe it or not, I actually have a few quarters in there too, wrapped up in tape. Because there's always that occasional payphone you'll run across that might be in handy. Um, I keep about 100 bucks in here in 20s, 10s, 5s, and singles. You want to have some small change if you need to make change for anything. I also have decided I'm keeping this little Olight i3T, uh, i3T EOS in here because I don't have a dedicated flashlight and I really don't need one in this bag because of the next item. I've got a headlamp. So between the two of these, I've got some decent light, some decent options. They both run on AAA and this bag is standardized to AAA only. And I also keep my Leatherman in here. And this is the rebar. This is the Leatherman rebar. Let's move on to the bottom pocket. Oh wait, I forgot two things here. I keep a couple of these, these propels. Good for replenishing electrolytes. And I keep them in an area where I can grab them really quick out on the outside. Bottom pocket. Now, you'll notice on the front there's AR magazines. We'll get into those in a minute. I don't normally keep gun accessories and ammo and stuff in my bags because if I'm taking a firearm, I will have the gear for it, either a belt or, you know, my body armor. But, uh, or my plate carrier, but uh, I do have a cleaning kit in here. This will clean everything from a handgun to a rifle. And I do have some Hops Elite gun cleaner. This isn't Hops number nine. This is more of a uh, environmentally friendly stuff. Um, I had an extra, I threw it in. It does work. It doesn't work as well as the Hops number nine, but you know, again, we're not looking for white glove standard when we're a bug out situation. So let's turn the bag around. So it does have a carry side. handle if you're gonna carry it like luggage. Um, if I were to carry this into, say, a hotel room I'm staying at or anywhere, I could carry it like luggage. I don't have to wear it as a backpack. All right, let's get into this side. Bandana. Very handy. My little shortwave radio. I'm going to open it quickly so you can see it. AM, FM, shortwave radio. This is the Grundig. Get out of there. This is the Grundig M400. It does AM, FM, and shortwave. Runs again on triple A's, which I don't keep in there. I don't like to keep batteries in things that can go bad. I did do a review on this radio. You can check back probably a year and a half ago, and you'll see that. And I have a portable antenna that I put together myself. It's really just a roll of wire with a little clip on the end. You toss this up into a tree, and you have yourself a pretty decent shortwave antenna. Moving on to the bottom. The bottom doesn't have much in it. Um, I have my wife's uh, heartburn medication. I do have a calling, a uh, prepaid phone card. This is a rather old one. The phone number still works and the card is still valid. It has no expiration date. Handy. I know there's not a lot of payphones out there anymore, but uh, it does work. And I keep some nasal spray in here because let me tell you, when I get allergies, <laughs> I definitely need to have it with me. There's not much in there. I do have earplugs in here. And that's about it. That's really all I have on the sides. 
most of this stuff is quick grab and go gear. So let's get into the, right, uh, on the front of the pouch. We have the mall webbing. So I did put two extra M4 magazines on the front or AR-15 magazines on the front. Um, I do carry everything separate. When I, like I said before, I have a battle belt. I have a plate carrier. But uh, this gives me two extra magazines if I'm just carrying the, uh, just wearing the battle belt. As a general rule, um, like I said, my bug out bags don't have a lot of ammo and weapon stuff in them. Um, just because I don't know where I'm carrying them. I don't know where I'm going to be able to take that kind of stuff. Um, but this one is set up for that sort of like a patrol pack or something. Just gives you an extra two magazines. And yes, I can reach them with the bag on. It is not a pretty sight, but I can reach them very easily. Um, it takes a little contortion, but better to have that than run out of ammo and have nothing else. Top pocket. All right. Woo. Drop the glasses out. These are readers. Yes, I have reader glasses. Um, I keep an extra pair in here. These are from the dollar store. They're a buck. I have a couple of extra folding flat 3M N95 masks. These are very handy. Um, they're not going to stop, you know, some kind of noxious gases or whatever. But they can give you a little bit of protection in a fire or any kind of emergency situation where you're trying not to breathe in what's floating around in the air. Sewing kit, right up front. Has a little extra sewing stuff in there, scissors, needles, an extra razor blade. And these guys here, just some extra easily obtainable snap sticks for lights. And this is what this is over here. This is something you put the light in for the Silum sticks. And you can keep it open, or you can dim it, or you can close it all the way once you've snapped the stick. And I do have an unsnapped stick in there ready to be used. Okay, get into the tool section. I do keep a hat here, it's handy, another freebie I got. Handy to have a hat, keep the sun off your face. I do keep work gloves in here. You know, honestly, I have bought a lot of work gloves in my time, and as far as shooting and weapons and stuff, I do like the Mechanics Wear gloves, but these things, these little, I don't know if they're suede, from Walmart, they come in a pack of like six for 11 bucks. These things have held up through so much stuff I mean, I use them gardening, I've used them shooting, I've used them for everything. And they give you a little bit of protection from heat. So if you're playing around fire, you know, they're not, they're not heat proof by any means, but they'll give you a little protection. I do keep a plastic shovel in here, just in case I need to dig a Dakota fire hole or a pit for a restroom, whatever. Um, out here in this soil, it would probably work fairly well, although we do have caliche soil, so it's questionable, but it's better than carrying a heavy metal shovel. I have, you guys remember this one, the Buck 632, it's a USA made buck knife. Nice knife, very affordable, I believe it's under 50 bucks. I also keep some cordage. I have my fire kit in here, and this is something I did replace. Um, I had one of those uh, UST spark easy things you push down and it makes sparks. I just decided to go with a regular ferro rod. You guys probably saw me make this one a little while back. Just a 308 cartridge with a ferro rod in it. So I have my tinder and everything else in here. I did put this bag all together. And I do have an extra unopened lighter in there. It kind of keeps everything in one place. I do keep this in here. Outdoor survival guide. Um, if worse comes to worse, it's interesting reading when you're stuck somewhere. You know, That's the best way to put it. There's always more that you can learn out there. I do keep one of these Bear Grylls little hatchets. I bought this kind of cringing a little bit because I was like, yeah, these branded, but it is made by Gerber. You know, it's branded by Bear Grylls, so I was kind of cheesed out by it, but uh, it's actually a decent hatchet, and it can do some of the work and not uh, and relieve the work of my knife a little bit. It does work very well. I do keep a roll of duct tape in here, and lastly, a little bit of water and an Nalgene bottle. Okay, so, you know, along with my hydration pack, I keep that in there too. Now let's move into the important part, the main compartment. All right, we're into the main section. One of the things I forgot and I found it on the bottom after I finished emptying that bottom pocket was I keep a Smith's pocket sharpener. These little diamond sharpeners, these things are awesome. And I do keep a piece of leather down there as a strop. Um, again, you don't need to spend a fortune doing that. I just bought a good quality leather belt from Goodwill that had real leather on it not pleather, and uh, I use that as a strop. Works great to maintain your knives. Anyway, into the main part of the bag. First thing I got up top is a 
All powers, 10 watt solar panel. Keep my devices charged up. This is a, now we did a, we did a video on this previously. This is a first aid kit. There was some pre-made stuff in here. It's been modified heavily. This was where I ran into my most problems, inventorying and cleaning this bag out. Some of those little instant, you know, little instant uh, independent sized uh, items leaked. You know, those little small things of triple antibiotic and, and such. So, we had to dump out a lot of stuff, replace a lot of stuff. Um, I had to kind of clean things up a bit. Um, these little, you know, these little single use triple antibiotic ointments and sting relief. Also, this is kept in a temperature controlled room. I keep my house rather cool because I like it that way. Um, so it never was out in any kind of heat. And about 80% of my alcohol wipes were dried up. Those have all been replaced. Any kind of medication we keep in here for ourselves has been replaced. Um, I keep, actually I have all my medicine separated like this. This is a leave and it's marked. This is Excedrin migraine for my wife and it's marked. So I keep this stuff kind of in individual bags marked. Um, if you have any prescription medication, I don't recommend you do that. Keep it in the original bottle. It'll save you any hassles if you do run into any kind of questions about it. So this was my biggest uh, challenge here. I really had a lot of stuff to replace. Um, I went out, bought new stuff, replaced it. Um, I do have a lot of these little single-use individual things, so I was able to replace most of that. So keep an eye on your first aid kits. Um, this has been customized for us. You know, I've added a lot of stuff to this, but uh, still, individual first aid kits, stuff like that. Keep an eye on them, keep them rotated, keep them healthy. I have to admit I was kind of remiss on, on doing uh, any kind of maintenance on that. Next up, <clears throat> what I had was an, a plastic bag full of all these extra propels and coffees and instant things. So I took the uh, dry sack from a uh, first aid kit, another first aid kit, and used it for my uh, instant stuff like coffee and propel and Gatorade and all that's in here, ready to go. All right, next up, SOL Bivy. Now, I am going to be doing a video on my idea for making these a little bit more sustainable. Um, again, out here in the desert, there are probably very few days where this would not be suitable. It is not, you know, it doesn't get freezing, freezing cold down here. We've had a few days where it's been down to 17 or 20, but even in the winter, you know, we don't get that cold. My idea for this and what I will be replacing, now that we're doing the inventory of the bag, is adding a sleeping bag liner. Gives you another layer of warmth. It also gives you another layer of comfort instead of lying on plastic, okay? So this and this will be going in here together as my sleep system. Again, I want to keep it light. I am in the desert. If I end up going somewhere where I am going to be colder, I have other sleeping bags I can toss in there or strap to the pack. But for my immediate use here, this works. All right, next up, my Sawyer Squeeze water filter. These are awesome. If you don't have them, get them. They're good. Can't beat it. This is kind of my extras kit. I have a couple extra space blankets in here. I have an emergency rain poncho. Um, handy if you got to change tire on the side of the road in a rainstorm. You don't want to get soaked. Little things like that make a lot of difference. In this packet up here, I forgot to open this up. I keep a rag. I keep all my double uh, AAA batteries. As I said, the bag's been standardized to AAA. And I keep a sealed map of Las Vegas and surrounding areas and Nevada. So, always good to have a map. I know we have GPS's, we have them in our phones. They're practically everywhere. Always good to have a map. I went from a lot of heavy MREs to a lot of freeze-dried foods. And I kind of stuck with what I like. And I wrote, these are all new. I rotated these in and took out some of the old ones. Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. I enjoy it. I know I'm going to eat it. Macaroni and cheese. Some beef entree there. I have four of those. Whereas I used to have a bunch of MREs. Get this stuff out of here. Separate. Now I just have a few and a few sides. I also changed out the MREs. I just have the entrees in here and a few sides. So I have a good three days worth of food there that would keep me in food. 
This bag here, another bag I had lying in my closet and absolutely no use for. This has some extra toiletries, you know, uh, sore throat stuff, uh, toothpaste, toothbrush. Some These things are awesome, by the way, if you've never used them. They're pocket suds, soap on the go. I've used them at my gym um, when I want to wash up after workout. You don't have to bring a bar of soap. You just take one of these little off there, one little layer off it, put it in your hand, sud yourself up, and it disintegrates. Good stuff. And I do have an extra razor in there. So that's more of a first aid, uh, not a first aid, a toiletries kind of kit, personal hygiene kind of deal. All right, let's get into the cook kit real quick. I keep one of these. And I have my cook kit in here. Um, I have removed everything but one cup. It had the cups in there, the ladle, the, the, I didn't need all that. So I have a pot and a pan to cook with. I have that. This is my stove. This is one of those cheapy $11 propane stoves, butane propane. And in here, so I don't scratch up the inside here, I have a spork. It's a folding spoon and fork. Works very well. Does what it's supposed to do. Again, I'm not standing on ceremony with this stuff. It's just to feed me and keep me safe. All right, you guys have seen this from before. This is my tarp that I use as a shelter. I don't have the pole in here, but we do. I do have trees. I can always find a branch and use it to top, pop up the middle. And lastly, a wood stove, because this much propane will eventually run out. This is one of those foldable wood stoves, the Lixada, you've seen them. Um, I did a review on this, it works very, very well. You just snap it together and you're good to go. And lastly, I have some fresh sips. These are not something I would filter, you know, water I considered really, really bad. Maybe to get the taste out of something. Um, I tried, I had two of these. I got two of these and I tried it. Um, it's for use with drinking water only, tap water, fountains, not to use microbiolog microbiologically unsafe or unknown like streams, lakes, and rivers. So if you got some water that kind of tastes nasty, or you got to get some water out of a fountain in a public place, and maybe you don't know whose germs are on that fountain, this will work. But I do have the Sawyer just in case. So that's pretty much the bag. Um, there was a lot of upgrading. You'll notice there's no uh, hydration bladder in here because that's something else I upgraded. Of course, now it's buried under all my other stuff. And rotating out the food and rotating out the first aid gear was the biggest thing I had to do with this. I admit I haven't checked this bag in a year. Um, my bigger bug out bag I checked probably every six months, but this one didn't get checked in a year. Oh, I forgot. I also left them in my other room, but I do have some change of socks and a shirt, change of shirt that I keep in here too. This is something new that I bought for it. I haven't tried it out yet. We are going to test this out. It's the outdoor products. Again, a Walmart thing. It's a hydration bladder. Um, it's better than the one I had in there, which had a little zip across the top that you seal that way. And I wasn't too keen on that because I was afraid it was going to pop open on me. This at least screws down. So what I'm going to do with this, how I test them, is I'm going to fill this up, let it sit out here overnight, make sure there's no little stupid leaks to begin with, and then we're going to test it out in my other carrier behind my seat over there and see how I like it, and then it goes in the bag, and then it's ready to go. I do not keep these filled in my bag. I figure if I'm running out the door, I have enough time to open this up, dump some water in, fill it up. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the upgraded bug out bag. Upgraded and rotated. I didn't do too many upgrades, but uh, I did rotate out a lot of stuff in there that needed rotating. So I thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Stay safe out there and stay prepared.